Hey guys, it's me, Edward Vane, and for today, we are going to view the K3 Shimmer, another 95% mechanical keyboard. Alright guys, let's go. Alright guys, let's unbox this thing. Now, as you can see, the packaging really looks cool and solid, and I also like how it is wrapped. We have a rubber cable over here. A little disappointing, but still okay. We have your plastic keycap puller. Let's put that there. We also have the manual as well, and we also have this, the order order paper. Now, let's take a look at the keyboard. Let's take the sheet off and look at that. Beautiful keycaps, really nice colorway as well. Amazing. Alright guys, so here is the board. Looking pretty nice. I like the white and dark mint colorway. Pretty cool. It's not that compact compared to my old 95% keyboard, but it looks pretty good. Now, quick sound test. Typing test. All right, pretty solid for a blue switch. Right, so that said, let's take a look at the lighting modes. To change lighting modes, guys, all you have to do is press Fn and then insert. All right, that's one. All right, so let's take a look at the second one. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. All right, so pretty much nine lighting modes. Not bad. Let's take a look at these switches, guys. I'm guessing this is ABS keycaps, but you know I do have to double check this. Okay, so let me take this out. Yep, it's blue switches, guys. I wanted red, but they got sold out. So let's take the switch. Okay, guys, looks like it is two, oh, sorry, three pin, okay? Three pin over there. What switch is this? Okay, guys, so we're not Huanu or Optimu. The way I look at it, it's J-I-X-I-A-N, Jiction. So this is the first time I'm experiencing this. There you go. Alright guys, so here are my overall thoughts of this mechanical keyboard. Let's start with the cons so we can end on a high note with pros. What I don't like about this is the rubber wire, because a lot of mechanical keyboards are braided now or comes with a braided cable. And next, I also don't like, maybe this is a personal thing, the size. Now, a 95% keyboard is long, but when I compare it to my Machinic K500, it's only long by one keycap. A lot of hobbyists and enthusiasts like a 65% mechanical keyboard. And a lot of people are also wanting to have a 95% keyboard since it's only one keycap longer. But when it comes to this, it's longer by around two keycaps compared to a 65% mechanical keyboard. Now, what I absolutely like about this is that it's heavy, so it has some class. Normally, I like heavy boards because they really give your keyboard some, you know, sense of value. But don't get me wrong, they're also light keyboards that are also cool too. Now, I also like the keycaps, the stock keycaps, really cool design. And I also like the space bar as well. It has a pretty solid, you know, stabilizer to the space bar. But also, I almost actually forgot about this nitpick, the stabilizers of the enter, backspace, and shift. Not that good, but again, it's no problem to mod. The lighting effects are absolutely bright to those people who love lighting effects of her mechanical keyboard. It's rainbow, not RGB, but again, that's really not a problem at all, so I didn't put that on cons. Even though if you get red or browns, you can easily 
switch room if you are a mechanical keyboard enthusiast or hobbyist. But if you're just one of those people who just want to buy a solid mechanical keyboard, this is already good for 1500 Shopping links below, by the way. So I like this keyboard. Again, I don't like the size and the cable, but I do like it, okay? And I do recommend it for people like students and, of course, people who like 95% keyboards. I think this is also fun to mod. I just suggest don't get the blue switches because, you know, blue switches, not good here. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I do hope to see you guys in my next video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Okay, guys, bye!